In this lecture, we will discuss about dehydration of secondary and tertiary alcohol. So you may remember if alcohol is heated in the presence of acid it gets dehydrated to give alkene now if alcohol is primary the mechanism is E2 and if alcohol is secondary or tertiary mechanism is E1 that is bimolecular elimination and unimolecular elimination Let us discuss dehydration of secondary or tertiary alcohol. So mechanism involves three steps. Let us take a general 3 degree alcohol. First step is acid base reaction that is protonation of alcohol. So this is a faster step. Acid base reactions are always fast reaction. If dilute H2SO4 is used, H3O plus acts as acid. and if concentrated H2SO4 is used H2SO4 itself act as acid now the second step protonated alcohol loses H2O molecule to give a carbocation and this is a 3 degree carbocation basically positive charge on oxygen makes this bond weaker so this bond becomes weaker carbon oxygen bond becomes weaker so we can break this bond heterolytically So this is heterolytic cleavage. This step is slow step because in this step we have bond breaking and this is the intermediate. So in next step the intermediate form 
लूज एज एच प्लस सो दिस टाइम एच टू कनेक्ट एज ए बेस एंड इट कैन टेक एच प्लस फ्रॉम हेयर सो फाइनली वी विल हैव एन अल्कीन Now, after loss of H plus, each atom here has its octet complete. So, octet completion is driving force for this reaction. and this step is also acid base reaction so this is losing h plus so this is acting as a acid and what is acting as a base so dehydration of alcohol involves three step first step is acid base reaction so this is first step second step is loss of leaving group that is loss of h2o and this step is slow step third step is again acid base reaction so this is fast step now reaction involves two intermediate so this is one intermediate and this is called alkyl oxonium ion let us call this is i1 and second intermediate we have that is carbo cation let us call this is i2 we can also write transition state so if i have two intermediate then we will have three transition state so first transition state oxygen hydrogen bond is formed and this oxygen hydrogen bond is broken this oxygen will have delta plus charge and this oxygen will have delta plus charge so this is transition state 1 similarly we can write a structure of transition state 2 in this case this bond is broken so oxygen carbon bond is broken oxygen will have delta plus charge carbon will have delta plus charge so oxygen is gaining some positive charge sorry carbon is gaining some positive charge and oxygen is losing some positive charge so this is transition state 
Similarly, we can write transition state 3. In this case, oxygen hydrogen bond is formed, and this carbon carbon double bond is formed, and carbon hydrogen bond is broken. So this carbon will have delta plus charge, oxygen will have delta plus charge. So oxygen is gaining positive charge and carbon is losing positive charge. So this is transition state 3. Now we can make potential energy diagram. So on y axis we have potential energy, on x axis we have reaction progress. So faster step is faster step, it will have less activation energy. Second step is slower step, it will have high activation energy. And third step is faster step, it will have low activation energy. Here we have intermediate 1 and this is intermediate 2, transition state 1, transition state 2 and this is transition state 3. This is reactant and this is product. So in this lecture we discuss about dehydration of alcohol and mainly we discuss mechanism for secondary and tertiary alcohol. For secondary and tertiary alcohol mechanism followed is E1. First step is protonation of alcohol, then loss of H2O to generate a carbocation and finally loss of H plus to generate a alkene. Reaction has two intermediate and three transition state. So we can draw the potential energy diagram. Since carbocation is involved in the reaction, rearrangement is possible. 